Hey guys, so we just did an unboxing of the iPhone 8 and we just put it side by side with the iPhone 7 and physically it looks a lot better than the one that we have right now. So if you guys are thinking about checking out the iPhone 8, it's definitely a lot better feeling than the iPhone 7. So putting the physical things aside, now we're just going to go inside hardware wise. So the iPhone 8 is running the A11 Bionic chip that should be about 30% uh, faster than the current A10 chip right now. So we're going to test it out by starting it up with Geekbench. So that's the main test that uh, a bunch of YouTubers and reviewers would love to check out right when they get the iPhone 8. So here I'm gonna do it for you guys and we'll get the scores. So this one hasn't been launched on any of these devices before because I usually don't do geek benches unless they are side by side with another device. So first time we have it running on the iPhone 7 here and we'll have the same one running on the iPhone 8. And definitely right here, you guys can tell by the True Tone display. That's just a better look at it. You guys can tell that this one is a lot brighter, whereas this one kind of adapts to the surrounding light and the surrounding area. Then putting that aside, let's take a look at what we have under the hood. So on the iPhone 7, you guys can tell that we have an, we're running iOS 11, running an A10 Fusion 2.4, uh, 2.34 gigahertz, and it has a roughly about two gigs of RAM. Now on the iPhone 8 here, we have uh, also running iOS 11, we have an ARM running at 2.03 gigahertz. This is a six core, we have two intensive core and four uh, sleeper cores, and it's running roughly about two gigabytes as well. Um, I thought it would have three gigabytes, or I might have been confused with the iPhone X, but whatever, this should be performing a lot quicker. Let's just see how well they do. We'll start it up at the exact same time, or I will try to do so. In three, two, one, go. So I'm going to leave it uh, at, in real time for you guys to take a look at, see how long each one finishes. And definitely this one, again, you guys can tell the true tone display. I can definitely see it now. In my previous video while doing the whole setup process, I said that the true tone display doesn't really do anything, isn't really affecting uh, the display at all in terms of visibility. Uh, but yeah, it does look a lot deeper, darker in color. And it kind of looks like night mode, night shift. Let's just try it out while it's actually going, see what it actually looks like. So we'll go to night shift on this one. And actually night shift is not even comparable to the true tone display or maybe I didn't even activate it yet. So let's try it out here. Oh, I just didn't click it yet. So so no, true tone display is definitely uh, a lot more yellow than the, the regular true tone display. So just Turn that off. Oh yeah, and you guys tell me, how do you guys like the control center so far? Um, this is a big difference from the iOS 10 that we usually are um, accustomed to. Uh, it looks a lot better too, so I really like it. it. The only problem I'm having is with the toggles right now, and I'm still pretty frustrated with that, I'm, as well as having a bunch of other bugs with iOS 11. So I did mention it in my couple previous videos. Watch that if you guys haven't. I'm gonna be making more videos on iOS 11 very soon. I'm having a lot of issues uh, with YouTube in Safari and within the control center in notifications. So stay tuned for those one guys. I'll do a lot more live updates on Snapchat. So follow me at Tech Notice and Twitter as well. Do, that will give you guys the most earliest news even way before YouTube uh, videos are uploaded. So right now we are about uh, 40, uh, 49 seconds into the video or into the test and the iPhone 8 is just almost complete here, whereas the iPhone 7 is just kind of following behind. But it's not too far off. Uh, both devices should finish within seconds of each other. So yeah, depending on the devices, uh, the, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 7 might be fluctuating in scores just a little bit. And it also depends on the operating systems that you guys are running. But the iPhone 8 should be a big difference uh, with the A11 Bionic chip versus the A10 Fusion chip. Although the iPhone 7 is no slouch, um, I'm not having any issues at all. And the odd thing here is the iPhone 7 actually uh, loaded it actually quicker than the iPhone 8. So that's a little odd right there. But as you guys can tell here, the scores are tremendously different. So the iPhone 7 has scored 3,484 for single score, which is very impressive. And we have a 6,037 for multi-core. And now bringing up the iPhone 8, we have an astounding 4,266 for the single core. And we have 10,535. That's just insane, guys, for a phone like this. Even the Samsungs don't even compete with this. Uh, it's insane that we're getting this kind of scores. 
Tell me if you guys have the iPhone 8, what kind of scores you guys are getting. This is what I'm getting right outside of the box. Like, we're within an hour of opening the box. And this is the first test it's been running on. It might even be better if I did it second time around. But this is the score I'm having now. So definitely uh, movement throughout the uh, entire UI. And, uh, you know, Safari, YouTube. Uh, everything inside here should be just like like a snap. It Nothing, no delays, nothing at all. The iPhone 7 nah, never had an issue anyway, so this one should definitely be a lot better. And yeah, what do you guys want to see? What other videos do you guys want to see with the iPhone 8? Uh, definitely the glass back is very nice. I'm going to be doing a couple tests to see how durable this is. I want to do a bunch more videos for you guys. So if you guys do like the videos, drop me a comment below. Show you guys uh, appreciation. Uh, hit that like button. Follow me on Snapchat and Twitter. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Peace out.